Hi guys, welcome back to Baker vs. Gymnast, and this is the gymnast, Maddie, here to talk about the story that I'm writing since Kate has shown you guys a lot about hers. Mine is called Pause, and um, here's my summary that was cut short because the app won't let me put more than 200 characters. Um, Hazel Elizabeth Jones wants to be cool like the other kids, but she is so much different than that. She wants to help at the animal shelter, but would she risk ruining her reputation to help the animals? And so basically she is sixth grade in middle school and she's like wants to blend in and be like the popular kids because she wants to have friends and there's like this list and it has like everyone's name in order of like the coolest to the weirdest and she's in the top 30 of coolest because she is pretending to be something someone that she isn't but really she has a soft spot for animals and she really wants to help them but so basically in there would she risk ruining her reputation in order to help in order to do her passion or the thing she loves and so i'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see specifics and yeah so right now I am an 11% done of my novel. I have like one chapter though. So I'll probably have like 12 chapters in my book. So there's that, how long it is. So I'll probably have 12 chapters, which is really good. And it says here, here, let me zoom in. It should finish on April 20th, 2021. What? Oh no. Well, oh my goodness, this is terrible. It says I'll finish on April 20th, 2021. But I'm going to be working really hard on this over Thanksgiving break. The stats should improve. Um, now, and so I have like a custom cover and everything and it says pause and there's like meow and woof and like little cat paws. So um, I'm gonna read you guys the first paragraph. The first paragraph or first chapter, chapter one's first paragraph is Philadelphia Animal Shelter. I quickly combed back my hair and stared into the middle. Mirror, my green eyes flashing back at me as I made sure every little hair was in place. I sighed, would I ever look good enough? I combed through my auburn hair until it felt like silk, then tied it into two braids. I quickly brushed my teeth, making sure each of my teeth were pearly white, and then rushed downstairs to catch the school bus. I grabbed my bag and left with barely a goodbye. Cool kids didn't do that anyways. As usual, when I got into the bus, Mr. Smith, our driver, asked names for attendance. Hazel Elizabeth Jones, I said. He smiled as he wrote my name onto the present section. I kept my head down as I looked for an empty seat, making sure no one noticed my face. I found my usual seat was occupied, so I sat in the one behind it. I set down my bag and grabbed my homework from inside, along with a pencil. School cool kids didn't do their homework at home. Cool kids turned it in late and finished it on the bus rides to school. Of course, I only had to look like I was finishing late. I had already done the entire thing. I scribbled down a few notes and put it away just as the bus started to get moving towards Baker Street Middle School. So that was just like the first paragraph of the first chapter. I hope you guys are like interested. Um, in the story, she's like five months into sixth grade. So she's around 11 or 12. I haven't really decided yet. But she's, like, really unsure of herself, and she really wants friends, so she has to pretend that she's cool, even though it means, like, being someone that she really isn't, so. Um, I really love the book so far that I've written, even though it's, like, one chapter. <laughs> but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really... I'm excited to share more about my graphic novel with you, and if you guys have any suggestions for me to, like, change anything or, like, what the plot should be, because I haven't completely decided on it yet, um, you guys can comment down below. Please like and subscribe, because we're so close to 30 subscribers, so, um, well, that wraps this video up, so I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.